Okay, welcome back. So our first example is actually off of a traditional E chord. And um, what you want to do here to start with is I, I always pick with the right hand and the heel of the right hand. In other words, this part right here right kind of on the pegs of the bridge, so right behind where the strings connect to the body of the guitar. Now if you have an electric guitar, it would be right where the saddles are, right behind the saddles, so you don't want to, uh, you don't want to lay on top of those notes, because if you do, it's going to create a muffled sound. So you want to be right behind that, but the idea here is not to push into the, the guitar body, but that your right hand is just kind of uh, anchored to a point. There's a little bit of security. What you don't want to do is kind of start planting your fingers here like this to pick because you, part of your hand is stable and part of your hand is trying to move and all of a sudden you're going to create some tension in your hand because uh, part of your hand is trying to stay put and part of it is trying to move at the same time. So um, that's kind of a bad habit to do. You want to um, just have the heel of your right hand kind of back here just free floating so to speak on the pegs of the guitar. Now this is more to foster um, proper picking technique than it is to, you know, something that you're going to nitpick over in the future when you need to pick notes. Uh, once you learn how to pick and you get comfortable, you're going to sort of, it's just going to kind of work itself out. I'm holding about two-thirds of the pick, so the pointy side is, is outwards, and my thumb has two-thirds of the pick, and I think of it as kind of like the thumb and the first finger. The thumb is resting on the side of the last digit of the first finger. And so where that point of contact would be is actually where the pick meets the first finger and you just kind of sandwich it. Now I like to tip uh, play with a little bit of a tilt to the pick. So I actually kind of roll my thumb over just a little bit and it actually sort of tilts the pick down as you do that. And so that way you're, you're going to play on the front side of the pick on the way down and the back side of the pick on the way up. Now as you start to pick, you want to pick each string well, regardless of the direction of the pick, if it's a down pick or an up pick, but you want to pick each string with its own specific attack. What you don't want to do is this, where you do what's called a rest stroke, and you end up landing on whatever's below you. That's bad because you're relying on that string's tension, this tension of the string you haven't struck to sort of ring as you pass through, and so it's going to make kind of an uneven sound as you go through. That's the lazy way to do it. What you want to do is this way, where you pick each one separately with its own specific attack. So, example, uh, well there's no numbers on these, but the E chord, the very first example on our PDF, looks like this. It's three downstrokes on the lowest three strings, and three up picks on the highest three strings. So it's six, five, four, one, two, three. Now this is actually kind of difficult in some respects because you have a really wide spread. You have six all the way to one. So that is kind of a lot of space, so allow your hand to move if it needs to. But what you don't want to do is kind of pick this way where all of a sudden the angle is kind of going this way, where you're kind of picking out because you're so concerned about staying anchored here that all of a sudden, you know, your wrist is trying to compensate. Allow your hand to move. Just use, use this touching the, the bridge here as kind of a guide on how to move from the wrist when you pick and not from the elbow. So again, the first example. Now the second example is off of a C chord. It's the same exact picking pattern, but because we have a C chord, we have five strings, you're not going to use the sixth. You're going to start from the fifth, you're going to go down, 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 up, up, up. This one's actually easier, because you're not covering as much space. Notice how I don't have any fingers planted here. 
The next one is off of a D chord, so it's a four string chord. And it's the same picking pattern, and because we have three down strokes and three up strokes, we're going to end up doubling more of uh, the, the strings within this D chord because we have four strings. So you're going to go down, down, down. So fourth string, third string, second string, first string, second string, third string with your ups. This one is actually easier than the previous one because there's even less strings involved. And this one, I find that I don't have to I don't have to glide at all with my with my right hand. 